Hey Vinyl Community, I'm back again. I'm pretty bored sitting around the house with this outer ear infection. I just don't want to seem to let up. But uh, I'm going to do a video here of my 10 inch vinyl collection. Um, I'll thumb through these kind of fast so it won't be a long video. Try not to be anyway. Uh, in the background, I'm listening to Heavy Trash. Good stuff. That's uh, John Spencer and Matthew Verderay from um, John Spencer's Blues Explosion and Matthew Verderay is from Matter Rose. Uh, some people may know John Spencer from Pussy Galore as well. But uh, this is on Yep Rock Records. It's good CD. Um, it's just straight up rockabilly, basically. Uh, anyway, here's my 33 and a thirds. I put them in this collection because the covers are 10 inches. The vinyl itself is 10 inches, and it fits in my 10 inch section a lot better than it does the 12 inch section. So, uh, Jackie Gleason, music to make you misty. Had this forever. Same with this, Eddie Fisher sings. Um, I got these years ago at a Goodwill or thrift store or something. I don't even remember. Uh, same with this, the Honky Tonk Piano. I bought this just because I thought the cover was cool. I hadn't even listened to it. But uh, I thought they were pretty neat. Something to grab and just hold on to. Alright, now my actual 10 inch collection. Primus from Pork Soda. It's got Pork Soda, My Name is Mud, and Hamburger Train. Look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? Their little tribute to Swan Song. It's called Prawn Song. I think it's funny. Uh, I was happy to finally get this. I uh, wanted it on Black Friday, wasn't able to get it. Uh, finally got somebody on eBay. Or got it from somebody on eBay, but it's Primus, Green Naga Hide, and actually, for those of you that don't know, the sleeve is Green Naga Hide, and it comes on green vinyl. So, uh, kind of smells because uh, it's Green Naga Hide. So, when you first open it, it stinks. I showed this on my record store day video, but uh, I'll show it again since it's a 10 inch. My morning jacket and uh, featuring Brittany Howard of Alabama Shakes on orange vinyl. Good stuff. Great stuff right here. Uh, I've heard the name pronounced three different ways, so whoever and however you pronounce it. I pronounce it Torch. Some people pronounce it Torche. Some people pronounce it Torsha. I don't know, however you pronounce it, it's them with Boris. Good stuff. And that, that's really limited to, I uh, forget what the limit amount is, but, um, or the press run, but uh, it's short pressed. Uh, Slint, it's another album you're not gonna go wrong with. This is the original, 10 inch, good stuff. Rage Against the Machine, People of the Sun EP, never even opened this because I have the main songs I like off this on CD, but uh, this is original from 97, pretty cool. Metallica Live at Grimey's, never opened this either, it's a double 10 inch recorded live at Grimey's, as the title says, in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Um, if you've heard Metallica live once, there's no reason to open this and let's do it again because this is later live stuff and James Hetfield has kind of changed his vocal styling since uh, all those songs came out originally. So I'm kind of not too interested in opening it. It's just something to hold on to. Whole Skinny Little Bitch. This is a past Record Store Day release. Um, it's on white vinyl. Jimi Hendrix, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Pretty cool. If you've never heard of these guys, you need to check them out. 
the Electric Frankenstein. Six songs, straight up in your face, rock and roll. Good stuff right here. Um, some high octane rock and roll. I mean, those vocals kind of remind me of Keith Morris of Circle Jerks, or when he was with Circle Jerks. It's just, it's good stuff. You're not going to go wrong with any of their EPs, any of their full lengths, anything. I've heard nothing but good things with them. And uh, nice guys, too. Hardcore band, Disembodied. This has seen some better days. I've had this for a long time. Dead King Split with Hammerlock. As you can see, it's hand numbered. Number 5 out of 40. Uh, this cover has seen some better days. When I got this, it wasn't in a sleeve, and I had to lug it around a punk rock show. Uh, so you can imagine the condition it's going to be in, being in a punk rock show with a bunch of sweaty punk rockers. The Clash. Black Market Clash. You're not going to go wrong with The Clash. Good stuff. Cheap Trick. I found this a while back at a thrift store. It's from 1980. There's the four tracks that are on it. It's pretty cool. Black Joe Lewis and the Honey Bears. It's awesome stuff. Nice little tribute cover to uh, Lightning Hopkins. But uh, if you've never heard these guys, it's a complete throwback to James Brown, uh, kind of a cross between like James Brown with more of, I think more of a Sam Cooke style vocals, I mean, but it's good though, I mean, if you can imagine that collaboration, if you sound like, or if you think you would enjoy that kind of sound, you, you need to check out Black Yellows and Honey Bears, they're a great band, great live band for sure. This was last year's record store day. Uh, the Beach Boys, Good Vibrations, Heroes and Villains. It's on 78 RPM. Pretty cool, it's a gatefold. Never opened this. Didn't really want to. Didn't want to mess anything up. Gigi Allen. Killed them all. 10 inch, still sealed. Uh, I'm not planning on opening this either. There's the, you can see that. Some nice love songs from Gigi Allen. So, good stuff. And, uh, never mind. Nirvana 10 inch collection here. It's the singles. Um, and, yeah, there it is. Serial numbered, if you can see that. So. I forget what the press run on this is, but embossed serial number there on the back. And uh, it's Nirvana, so you're not going to go wrong with it. But anyway, hope you enjoyed my video of my 10 inch collection. But uh, that's it. That's all my 10 inches. And uh, I'm sure if. I'm stuck here at the house any longer. I'm gonna be breaking up some of my other collection, and making more videos. But um, we'll see. Anyway, take care, vinyl community.